Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the kitchen today. Yes, we are finally coming back at you with some delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipes with a slant on Blue Zones and the Blue Zones diet, being that we are still kind of on our Costa Rica kick coming off of our fifth retreat there. We are still just glowing with all things Costa Rica in our minds and memories. So we're gonna bring you some recipes inspired by the retreat. Our chef Ariana this year was phenomenal. So we're gonna share with you kind of a Rattle 4 style Blue Zones way of eating and share some tips and tricks along the way to help you bolster your diet so you can live not just longer, but live better into your older years. So the Blue Zones, if you don't know, are the five regions of the world where people are living the measurably longest. So one of those Blue Zones is Costa Rica. Another which we visited is Italy. It's our goal to visit all of them. There's one in Greece. There's one in Japan, Okinawa in particular. And the last is actually here in the United States in Loma Linda, California. So one of the primary things that these guys all have in common is the way in which they eat, which is a plant slant. So upwards of 95% plant-based. They also eat very, very small amounts of meat and usually only for celebratory purposes. The main thing is the plant slant. So these communities are thriving on things like yams and sweet potatoes, beans being a very, very huge one, even whole grains, sourdough breads, lots of nuts and seeds, and obviously lots of whole fresh fruits and vegetables. So that's what our meals are gonna look like. We're gonna share some of our favorites that have really stood out to us that we enjoyed and our retreat guests enjoyed the most from Costa Rica. So for breakfast, what we would typically have is some fresh sliced fruit along with a smoothie, and then especially on our more active days where we were hiking a lot, we would have some type of overnight oats. So this is gonna be perfect. And if you're looking again at the blue zones, not only were they eating with a plant slant, they also were moving their bodies continually throughout the day like we did in Costa Rica, hiking up and down. So if you have a desk job, maybe set a reminder for yourself to get up and move your body every 20 minutes or so, even if it's just walking to the bathroom or the water cooler. For our Blue Zones breakfast, we are making some fresh sliced pineapple and watermelon. Definitely start with fresh fruit if you're trying to live like the Blue Zones cultures do. We're also going to be making a delicious tropical Costa Rican smoothie as well as some overnight oats, which you can actually put in the fridge for one or two hours and it'll be ready then, or you can do it overnight and it just gets creamier and softer and more thick. For this recipe, you will need one cup of rolled oats, one cup of plant milk, a half cup of coconut yogurt or plant-based yogurt of your choosing, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla bean powder or vanilla extract, two ripe speckled bananas, about four to six pitted medjool dates. If they're really dry, you'll want to soak them for about 30 minutes and a pinch of Himalayan salt. Favorite plant milk that we've found is this Malk brand. It's refrigerated, it's organic, there's no added sweeteners or fillers. Super plain and simple, just oats, water, and salt. A favorite coconut yogurt we just found is also organic, it's Coco June. So again, no refined sweeteners in here. Super simple ingredients and lots of probiotics. So while in Costa Rica, we had a lot of tropical fruits, a lot of fresh coconut. They actually made their own coconut yogurts and all that kind of good stuff. So while we don't have access to as many of the tropical fruits here, what you can do instead is, like I said, find your own coconut yogurt or buy coconut water, canned coconut milk to integrate some of those tropical vibes. You can also buy frozen tropical fruit instead of fresh. Just do what you can. And even better yet sometimes is to eat what's local to your area. So I've been loving berries since coming back home, whereas there weren't so many in Costa Rica. So the nice thing about the overnight oats, the smoothies, the lunch that I'm gonna be making, even the dinner, these are all very intuitive recipes. So we're kind of giving you the foundation that works well for us, that we enjoy. But then the fun thing is, you can put your own flair on this. So you can add in something like frozen or fresh berries or dried fruit, nuts, seeds, maybe like some hemp seeds sprinkled in there. The options are endless. We're gonna pop this in the fridge for a couple hours or overnight. If you want it to be sweeter, I suggest adding in protein powder or maple syrup. Mm. Oh my gosh. The longer you let it set, the better it gets. It's so good. Mm. One of our favorite things about being in the tropics was obviously the fresh fruit. 
all high water content fresh fruits too, so they were great for kickstarting your morning. Pineapple in particular, and we also found a little organic watermelon. So those are our picks today. So yes, we always had a breakfast smoothie almost every single day with very minimal ingredients. Super clean and simple and straightforward. Again, going back to the coconuts, there was coconut water added to almost every smoothie, so we've been buying it by the carton at home, and bananas were also on demand. So you guys know us, we buy ours by the cases, freeze them, and then we have them on hand for our smoothies and nice creams and smoothie bowls. Today's recipe is gonna be very simple. All you're gonna need is banana, celery, dates, pitaya, and jackfruit. So jackfruit is one of our favorites in Costa Rica, as are bananas. They're the base to every great smoothie bowl, right? And dates for sweetener. You can also add protein powder optionally if you wanted to, and a splash of coconut water or just plain old water. Hmm. I've really grown to love that balance between the salty and the sweet in a smoothie. It really rounds it out. All right, you guys, so I've got my fresh fruit, a smoothie, and some overnight oats to fuel me for the day. We're gonna move on to lunch next, so stay tuned for that. We had also been getting a lot of questions in our DMs and on YouTube comments as to what supplements we brought with us, what do we travel with, how do we stay on track, and yes, if you didn't already see last week's video and our live, we do travel with a few supplements on hand, namely Complement. So Complement is not just a supplement, it actually complements your plant-based diet with eight of the vegan essential nutrients, vitamins, omega-3s, and minerals that you may be lacking or you might wanna just make sure you're getting a little bit extra of, especially on a plant-based diet. So there's no fluff. A lot of times supplements have above and beyond what you need and then you're getting too much, which causes your kidneys to have to work harder and it's just not necessary. If you're eating a beautifully well-rounded plant-based diet like this, all you're gonna need is the essentials, which is why we absolutely love Complement. The biggest thing for us, especially when traveling, is not wanting to travel with a ton of different pills and potions and liquids and sprayers and droppers. So Complement puts everything all in one place, and it's also pregnancy and breastfeeding safe, and they even make a liquid form for little kiddos if you wanna sneak it into a smoothie, for example, for Max. So we'd love compliment. You guys can use our discount code and the link below to check them out. Do it quickly because they fly off the shelves. So check them out before you miss out. So for lunch, we're gonna be making some raw rainbow wraps. This recipe was unanimously a favorite between both retreat groups. We've had it a couple different ways in past years. One year it was a collard greens wrap. Another year was a dehydrated greens wrap, similar to the one I'll be using today. And this last year, it was a plantain wrap, which was so mind-blowingly good. Today, we're actually gonna be using some raw wraps that I found online. These are raw vegan, they are organic. We'll link them below on our Amazon store. This brand is pretty epic. So these ones have zucchini, apples, flax seeds, spirulina, turmeric, onion, and black salt. And then inside the wrap, what I recommend is just picking one of every color of the rainbow as far as veggies go. So I've got cherry tomatoes, I've got a carrot that I'm gonna shred finely, thinly sliced yellow bell pepper, some purple cabbage, some spinach, choose a green that you like, and then you can also add in a tropical fruit to kind of sweeten it. So I would recommend mango or pineapple. I'm using pineapple today. And then for our dressing slash dip or spread, I'm gonna be making a creamy, low-fat guacamole. This is a trick that I learned years ago to stretch your fat. It's still equally as flavorful, but less high in fat, and there's more to go around. So all you have to do is take either one small or half of a large zucchini, chop it into chunks so you can fit it into a blender, and then we're gonna add in our avocado as well as some salt and pepper, some fresh cilantro. You can add in either fresh or dried onion and garlic powder. You can also add a squeeze of lime to your liking. You can then spread this onto the inside of your wrap or just dip your wrap into it. So you can get the wraps a little bit wet and they'll be more malleable and pliable, and you can also have a salad with your leftover chopped ingredients, which is what I'm gonna do. But the wraps are amazing to take on the go. Like I said, this can be a dressing, a dip, or a spread. You can even add some sweetness by blending in, again, pineapple or mango. 
whatever you desire. Moving on to dinner, my favorite. I'm always craving something warm and hearty for dinner. So tonight I'm making a warm and hearty Moroccan bean stew. It lasts for days, which is great for us. Again, a very busy family who we don't like to cook every night if we don't have to. So this is gonna last us at least a couple nights. So two very common foods for folks in the blue zones are one, beans, and two, sweet potatoes. Both are included in this recipe. So we've got our big ayacote beans, chickpeas, red lentils, and three different kinds of sweet potatoes in this stew. Again, it tastes delicious, it lasts for days, and it is so, so good. For this recipe, you're gonna need two or three sweet potatoes. You're gonna need one cup of red lentils. You'll need about one and a half cups of chickpeas, one and a half cups of black beans, or like we're using these giant ayacote beans. We like to cook our beans from dried, so we soak them overnight, put them in the instant pot, and then we throw them in the stew closer to the end. You're also gonna need one yellow onion, three or four cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, a half teaspoon of fennel seeds, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of ground ginger. Now you can do fresh ginger if you like. One teaspoon of dried basil, a dash of cinnamon, a couple dashes of cayenne, depending on if you like it spicy or not, salt and pepper to taste, and veggie broth is optional. We're just gonna be using water. And while peanuts are super popular in these Moroccan stews, we're actually using cashews. We all enjoy cashews a little bit more, and instead of cooking with them in the recipe, we like to add them on at the end. So you're gonna wanna start by sauteing your onion and your garlic with, like I said, either veggie broth or a little bit of water. Then you're gonna add all of your spices and saute for just a few minutes. You're gonna add a little bit more water and simply add the rest of your ingredients, your lentils, your potatoes, and then closer to the end, you'll add your beans, your chickpeas. I usually like to add just enough water to cover everything. If you want a little bit more soupy, you can add more water than that, but like I said, we like ours really thick, so I'm gonna add just enough water to cover everything in the pot when I have it all in there. Okay, you guys, so this was our version of the Blue Zones diet for health and longevity. Hope you found it interesting and helpful. These recipes are seriously good. If you're interested in the Blue Zones, definitely go check out Dan Buettner and his work. For sure, check out Compliment. We've been using Compliment for months now and seriously love their product. And if you guys are digging on these recipes and want more, definitely go check out the Eat Move Rest Meal Planner. This thing is chock full of our favorite recipes. In fact, we just added a new feature where you can actually print out each recipe to make it even easier for you in the kitchen. And one last thing, our retreats are filling up fast. So if you didn't already, definitely go check out last week's video. We just returned from our fifth Costa Rica retreat recently and have been setting up phone calls like crazy. I think our first retreat is over halfway full and our second retreat has a few spots already filled up. So if you're interested, definitely visit eatmoverest.com slash events and hook up with us so we can get you all the information. We'll link everything in below. Hope you guys have an epic week. You move rest your best. Peace. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.